Did you know that Chattanooga was once considered the dirtiest city in America? But with proper planning and the effective use of public-private partnerships, the city was able to rise above its dirty reputation, create a clean environment, become an outdoor mecca and travel destination with a thriving economy that gives residents a quality of life matched by few other communities. One notable development during the revitalization efforts was the creation of a unique division of the city known as Outdoor Chattanooga. And I'm here to share that story with you. Who is Outdoor Chattanooga? Outdoor Chattanooga is a unique division within the city of Chattanooga's Economic and Community Development Department. And our mission is to make outdoor recreation an attractive, healthy, and distinguishing lifestyle for Chattanooga's residents and visitor population, which in turn will maintain and enhance the value of the region's natural and built resources and help grow the region's economy. We have five full-time staff, our director, program coordinator, two recreation specialists, and myself, the customer relations specialist. Hi guys, I'm Sunshine. We operate on three pillars with information, programs, and events. We provide information to connect residents and visitors to the outdoors. We have an annual marketing reach of about a million. We offer beginner-friendly programs that connect people to the outdoors. Our programs took over 5,000 people outside last year. And we offer support and logistics for large-scale city events. But why does Outdoor Chattanooga exist? Here's our story. In the 50s and 60s, at the height of its manufacturing heyday, Chattanooga was often listed among the top 10 industrial cities in the United States. This success gave way to an unfortunate acc accolade. In 1969, on an evening news broadcast, Walter Cronkite announced to the country that Chattanooga, Tennessee was the dirtiest city in America. Over 40 years later, the city's bustling downtown and sparkling riverfront are now destinations for visitors and residents alike. Through the work of dedicated citizens and effective public-private partnerships, Chattanooga now boasts a clean environment. The recessions of the 1970s and 80s hit industrial cities like Chattanooga particularly hard, and the loss of jobs was a problem that called for drastic changes. So in the 70s, Chattanooga residents quickly approved the formation of several cleanup efforts. In 1985, a newly formed citizen group called Chattanooga Venture hosted public forums entitled Vision 2000 as a way to envision and plan for future alternatives. Open to all, these forums attracted over a thousand residents and established a set of goals for the city's improvement that set in motion an unprecedented revitalization effort that has yet to cease. In the decades following, the city and county developed an extensive greenway system, including the 13 mile long river walk, that winds through downtown, historic art districts, and several parks. Also, when the 120-year-old Walnut Street Bridge was no longer suitable for automobile traffic in the 70s, it was converted into the world's largest pedestrian bridge, connecting downtown to the North Shore. The Tennessee Aquarium opened in the 90s, 1992, the Chattanooga Visitor Center in 93, Creative Discovery Museum in 1995, and the IMAX 3D Theater in 96. All of these gave way to more tourism. In May 2003, the mayor of Chattanooga, Bob Corker at the time, initiated a citizen-based process that established a strategic plan for outdoor recreation in the Chattanooga region. Outdoor Chattanooga was formed in 2004 as a direct response to this initiative. It was established as a regional mechanism with facilities dedicated to the recreational use, education, and stewardship of the region's natural areas. With continued revitalization efforts and an ever-increasing stock of cultural amenities and outdoor recreational opportunities, Chattanooga has become one of the most livable and vibrant cities in the country. The unique partnerships between city and citizenry, public and private entities, 
to improve local quality of life has transformed Chattanooga, Tennessee into a national model of sustainable growth and regional prosperity. So let's get into the three pillars that Outdoor Chattanooga operates on. The first is information. How can you find us and how can you find those awesome places to get outside and play? Well, in the digital age, you can definitely find us online. At OutdoorChattanooga.com, we have a standalone website from the City of Chattanooga's website and that is meant to promote all the outdoor opportunities within an hour's drive of downtown Chattanooga. It has detailed information and resources to connect you with our region's outdoors. We're also on social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. And of course, you can find us the old fashioned way in person. The Outdoor Chattanooga Center at 200 River Street in Coolidge Park was completed in 2009. It's a LEED certified building that was once a floor manufacturing plant, as well as an Arnold Palmer Golf Club manufacturing site. It has a second story clear story to let natural light in, a green roof, and a cistern that collects rainwater runoff to flush our toilets. This building is the main hub for our employees and our programs. If you would like to learn more, please visit our website OutdoorChattanooga.com. You can also find us on Instagram and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Both of these will give you inspiration to find your next outdoor adventure. Our programs connect people to the outdoors. We specialize in beginner friendly, no to low cost recreational activities. We provide equipment and instruction to reduce barriers and increase confidence for individuals to access the outdoors safely and independently. Again, our programs reduce barriers by providing equipment and instruction at little to no cost. Most of our programs vary by season with a few dedicated year round programs. We aim to serve all ages, genders, races, ethnicities, income and skill levels, from first timers to long timers, we have a program for anyone and everyone. Our most popular fireside concerts are a way to encourage families to come out, unplug, spend an autumn evening in a park gathered around a fire listening to live music. We host workshops, free educational opportunities to learn outdoor skills. We have a tri archery program. We also do guided tours that, again, provide equipment and instruction to break down those barriers and kind of a try before you buy concept, because getting into outdoor recreation can be expensive. Our Learn to Ride a Bike class teaches all age levels how to ride. Intro to mountain biking will get you geared up for those single track trails. And our Rapid Learning program is one of only city funded white water based programs that will teach you how to navigate class two to three white water safely and confidently again you can visit our website to learn more about our programs outdoorchattanooga.com we also uploaded some videos that when we share this presentation later on you will have access to see those youtube videos outdoor chattanooga assists with the recruitment support and logistics of large scale city events like Ironman, Head of the Hooch and the Chattanooga Marathon. And we also partner with public and private organizations to implement programs and increase our outreach efforts. Did you know that Chattanooga is the only city to have hosted three Ironman events in one year? We hosted the half, the full and two world championships in the same year, 2017. Our downtown setting is unique in that that riverfront is, provides a perfect place to spectate and view for water activities, running, road, and cycling activities. The Head of the Hooch is the world's largest single site rowing regatta that attracts thousands of competitors and spectators the first weekend in November each year. Again, set up right down 
right downtown at that riverfront. The Chattanooga Marathon is a city-sponsored marathon that serves as a Boston Marathon qualifier that sees over 2,000 racers sign up each year. The Dragon Boat Festival serves as a fundraiser for the Children's Hospital. It is pretty fun to watch. Large watercrafts that have a dragon head and tail accommodate 20 rowers, a drummer, and somebody that steers. The Moon River Festival is a two-day music festival in Coolidge Park. In 2014, Outdoor Chattanooga assisted with bringing the U.S. Pro National Championships to Chattanooga. And we've seen things like Swim the Suck, a 10-mile open water swim, and really unique disc dog world championships. Finally, we can't do this work alone. Community partnerships make us tick. Between local nonprofits, land managers, local parks, and our National Park Service. We're able to reach more people by working jointly with them. Plus, a lot of these organizations help maintain and keep our wild spaces green for all of us to enjoy. Thank you so much for listening to this presentation. We definitely want to invite you to come out and play. Chattanooga is a beautiful place to do that. If you need any more information, please visit our website, outdoorchattanooga.com. Thanks so much.